Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and an ordinary pin can be far more than an ordinary pin. It can be a steering wheel. It is not uncommon as we're stitching for the fabric on very small ends, for example, this triangle where we have two bias seams, want to move and twist and not stay at that exact quarter inch. The reason is, is those bias seams are very stretchy, so they're not working to our advantage, they're working to a disadvantage. And the fabric is going to want to move. We can't keep our finger underneath there, so it often moves. And even though we've maintained this quarter inch throughout the block, when it comes to the end, it'll want to go in one side or the other so that quarter inch is not exact. Well, there's a way we can use a pin as a steering wheel to help keep that in order. There are a lot of different ways to pin your fabric, but this is a very comfortable and convenient way so that the heads of the pins are coming out. That way, as we're stitching, we're going to be able to remove those pins. And we can pin like that right up until the end but we can't get right to this little corner because there's not enough fabric for the pin to pierce the fabric. So as we're sewing, before we come to this pin, we're going to be able to remove it, continue sewing. When we come to that pin, remove it, continue sewing. When we come to the end, we still need to remove this pin. And then we get to stitch off that point. However, we can't get our finger in there to hold that fabric. And at a certain point, you cannot get a stiletto in there because there's just no fabric to hold. And with those edges being biased, they will want to go in the direction that they want to go in. So we were able to maintain that beautiful quarter inch all the way along, but on the end, the thread wants to come to one side or another and often it will shift this fabric. So there is a way we can use a pin as a steering wheel. We still can pin the sides in the normal way, but when we come to this very small point, we can thread that pin in, weaving it in and out, leaving that pin within that quarter inch seam allowance. It's a lot easier to grab some fabric in this direction than it is going sideways. And when we come to the point, we're going to be able to use this pin as a steering wheel. We can stitch the sides in the normal manner. As we come to the pins, we stop, we remove the pin, and continue sewing. We're going to be able to direct the fabric the way we want it to go through. Keep stitching and remove the pin. Keep stitching until you come very close to the end of that pin that's in that odd way. And to give this fabric direction, we're going to hold the pin shaft tight against the machine bed. If we hold the little end of the pin, it's giving too much space underneath. And what we need to do is hold that shaft against the machine bed. So there's no space. We're holding the pin quite firmly down which means the pin is not going to be moving. But the fabric is going to move because the feed dogs are going to pull it through. And I can still give direction with this pin. I can line up my fabric, hold that pin down, and sew. The fabric is going to be pulled off the pin, but the pin is staying right in the same position as I'm pushing down. The pin is staying in this location, but the fabric has been taken away. By holding that pressure onto that pin, it's kept the fabric in the spot that I want, right to the very small point. The feed dogs pulled that fabric out for me, so I didn't have to do anything. I'll show you again. The pin is right at that end, within that quarter inch seam allowance. I'm going to choose the direction of my fabric. I'm going to hold down the shaft of that pin and let the machine do all the work while I'm holding this pin flat down.
the fabric stays in the right position and the pin stays right where I'm holding it. The amazing pin. What would we do without it? Thank you for joining me today on Tuesday's Tips. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're talking about next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.